That was the intro. Welcome, Matt Roll64 here, and welcome to Let's Play Sonic CD. One you're probably been waiting for quite a long time. Release on the Sega CD. <coughs> pardon, pardon me. Back in 1993. Even though it was actually developed before Sonic 2, actually. I'm using the European version just so I can have the Japanese soundtrack. I'm sorry about if the frame rate's a bit choppy than usual. I know the demo is going on. Even though I've just was on the menu shifting through okay, never mind. Crushing game, you spoilt it for me. Oh well. Damn spoilers. But anyway, let's begin. Uh, as I said in my update, I find this game rather overrated. Although, to be fair, I still like it. I think it's not a bad game. But I just think it's overrated. Which is a shame because I love this game, but then recently, I recently I just absolutely detested it. Well, not detested it. I just suddenly not started not liking it. The worst bit is still do not know why I do not like it. I haven't figured that bit out yet. Although it does have, it's not a bad game. People say it's the best in the Sonic series. Personally, I think that goes to um, either Sonic Three or colours of generations although yesterday I got generation Sonic Generations and I've been playing it and I freaking love that game probably my major complaint about it is that it's too short it is honestly too short and there's not enough classic levels There is honestly not enough classic levels. <laughs> oh bloody hell. That was dumb. I actually didn't see him. <laughs> I'm too busy looking on the left of the screen for some reason. Don't know why, but uh There's monsters up there. And I want them. But how do I get to them? And why am I standing so creepy for? Uh, also, another complaint of mine about this game is that. Well, I think I. No, I was talking about Sonic Generations. But I think I should start talking about Bloody Hell. This game. The problem with major complaints about it is that. This cheap, this cheap enemy placements like that. 
enemy that I just took damage from. You just place it at the end of that spring. Which wouldn't be so bad, but I'll end up landing on him and I couldn't do anything about it. That's honestly a major complaint. A major complaint. Ah. Not a major, but a complaint from me. Another reason is that, despite being on Sega CD, which was actually rather. had decent power. <coughs> the game, for the most part, re reuses many assets from Sonic 1, mainly the HUD, from the, mostly the HUD, and Sonic Sprite. Also, another problem, and we'll be seeing this later, pro another problem I have with the game, is that bosses are lame. Special stage, I'm going to be fair, is fun, but it can be absolutely frustrating. Like, special stage is very unfair, because sometimes you have to be square what square. You have to be complete, really, have the timing of a god in order to take these bloody UFOs. And that is something I'm not very good at, actually. I have horrible timing. Part of, the, part of the reason why I haven't actually played Xenoblade Chronicles, even though I've, even though I've got it. Just because I haven't got the timing to activate the bloody topple. And this is in the... Uh, this is in the tutorial bit, where you have to use the topple to destroy a bloody robot. Unfortunately, I can't do it, no matter how many fucking times I try. Each time I get even more pissed off into the point where I just screamed this game is a piece of shit and just turned off the bloody game. It's a shame really because it's a great game but I just got so frustrated with that one bit just because I couldn't get the timing down. Well to be fair that's pretty much a case of blaming the operator. But wasn't half getting frustrated. My throat's a bit sore. It's only just fled up now. <coughs> and now that was fucking cheap. Did you see that? He was off screen and I bumped into him. Also, the jumping is a bit odd in this game. It just feels off to me. Also, another is that another complaint I have for this game is that sometimes the object placement. How come you not looking down? Okay. Sometimes the object placement. Fuck. Sometimes the object plate placement is a bit random. I mean, hey, look at these rings. They're in the wall. How the hell are we supposed to get those? I mean, really, some of them ran. Some of it seemed to be random. There's a spring pointing into the wall. Don't go into the future. Thank you. Although, two pair. So I really like the time. Time traveling mechanic. And I really like how some of the robots are actually damaged. And you may notice that. Some of the robots are actually damaged. This one, this mosquito, he actually has a bent nose. Oh, cool. But anyway, as I was saying, he has a, he actually has a bent nose. Oh, so that's what, why it's bent, pointing to the wall. All right then. But anyway, as I was saying, that mosquito had a bent nose. I said that so many times. Actually, haven't I? I'm sorry if I repeat myself. But I was just interrupting myself so many times trying to say something. Ah, uh, but anyway. He's one of these rare few damaged robots. Damaged robots actually are crippled in some way. Uh, I don't think the mosquito, the bent nose mosquito, actually does anything different. 
unless it has slower reaction or is slower. Like, see, later in some enemies, the, the spider layer, spider, spider by Nick layer, it has the damaged version doesn't shoot web, for example. Oh, and Sonny has this peel out. You'll never see me use this. Well, except for a certain boss battle later. I do not know what the hell is the point of this. Of the you know what. I not remember what the freaking hell name is. And I definitely got to. And I definitely got the bloody thingy. Oh well, I don't really care. <laughs> I've never beat this game 100%. I'm gonna be honest. I got so close once, but then I died. <laughs> In the final level, no less. You wanna know the best bit? This game has no bottomless pit. Except in the very last level. And that is actually quite. jarring. You've never had. bumped into the bane of platformers everywhere. Or. crashing. Mario's worst enemy until the last level. Surprising, really. Ah, and something of fun fact about this game this actually wasn't developed by Sonic Team, but Sega. As you can see, they tried their hardest to be more faithful to the games at the time just the original but to be fair in my opinion they didn't do it they didn't do too well but that said still it's a great game it just flawed in my opinion Is this here, Carco? But anyway, this is a bad future. I should have showed this off actually. We went in the past, that's the only place where the robot to sizes are. In, in a good future, which you can get if you destroy, get all, either all the time stones or destroy the robot sizes in both acts you get a good future in the good future there are no bad nicks anywhere also in the past in any level if you destroy the roboticizer no bad nicks will appear in the level even in the present although the captives really are flowers There must be a special kind of flower. If I actually got the both bot sizes, this area would be much different looking. Oh, and a sample of how pathetic this boss is. Fuck. Well, that was a good start. You can get right behind him. Let's just pretend it never happened, okay? I died on the first boss. That pathetic weakling of a boss that makes Wispy Woods look like a freaking Kulix. Dude, the hell is wrong with me? Oh, God. Oh, I so want to punch myself in the face. But anyway, now to do this properly. God damn it. That was exa exactly what I was trying to do. And if you actually let him get all the way over here, he'll actually pin you. If you let him actually pin you against the wall, he'll let himself leave himself open by actually edging away from you like an aspoot pussy. Why? Why? I do not know. But he just does. It is really the most pathetic boss I've ever seen in the Sonic series. It really is. Absolutely pathetic. 
I'm almost disgusted to actually say it. Say that Dr. Eggman is a great villain. Or well, to be fair, he is, but. That bit was just absolutely, is absolutely stupid. But anyway, coll collision chaos. We have Amy. She's no use. I can't really get over there. And um, why the hell did that go, girl? Oh, bugger. Yes, we have to save her. Great. Do we really have to? Do we? I suppose I could. Oh, and here's a f f something fun you can do is that if you wait for about three in game minutes, Sonic will actually say, I'm out of here, and he'll jump off screen. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do this because it nets you a game over. And yes, Sonic actually has voice acting in this game. However, he sounds like he's got a, f a stuffed no he sounds like a stuffed no kid. Speaking of voice acting, the new voice actors are really not that, not that half bad, I must say. SBO actually sounds like a ninja. Although, to be fair, I hear Shadow and Amy's are pretty bad. Amy's didn't have any problem with. Shadow, I'm not sure because I haven't heard him. And despite me saying that the game's too short, I've heard about all the levels in the game. I really shouldn't have done that, but oh well. I'm not bothered. But I think there should have been more classic levels, to be fair. And less levels set in cities. They kind of overuse that trope. Although, to be fair, I can't wait for the 3DS version either. And yes, I'm going to get the 3DS, 3DS version. Holy shit. This is the new Bannock. It's damaged version. Doesn't produce sparkles. And that, uh, we saw a Mantis thing earlier. I should have explained about it. It's incredibly annoying. The damage, it actually hasn't got a damaged version. Well, I don't think it's damaged. It just starts with no fucking spite sickles. Yep, I officially hate those things. Gah, and I think I'm, and I think I'm nearly in the level. No, bloody hell. Also, no, I can make is that about this game is that the the pinball physics. Oh, you're gonna have a lot of fun in Act Three. I bloody assure you. Although this level's been, although this part's been going on for quite a while, I think it might end in a bit. No, I don't want to go in the future. What? Ha! You need not going to set on fire. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get. Any chance to enter Spessage? Nope, I can't. Bloody hell. Oh well. I'm not bothered about getting an inch percent, really, to be fair. <coughs> oh. God. I don't know how long I've actually been recording for. It's, it feels like a long time, but it's probably most likely longer than I actually think. There, yeah, there's another bloody. There's a monster in the bloody wall. Seriously, what the hell were you smoking, Sega?
This is a sound effect, I believe. Actually. Oh, and I should have mentioned about the soundtracks. There's two soundtracks. North America and a different one from... Not really, not really sure why. Apparently, it sounded too close to electronic dance tracks being produced at the time. And it was... The American version of the soundtrack was actually composed by Spencer Nielsen. Well, to be fair, Nielsen's soundtrack doesn't really seem sound fitting for a Sonic game, in my opinion. And yes, I'm bringing up the whole old argument that needs to die. I am sorry, but honestly, though, it's still a valid argument. Well, I, that's what I think. Honestly, to be fair, I kind of prefer the the soundtrack more. The Japanese run, but there's some tracks from this. Ah, there's some tra soundtracks from the American version I actually prefer. Like, I prefer the American versions. The, Mer the American version of Speed High, no, not Speed Highway, Stardust Highway. So glad there is no more spikes after that. Those two, because if one spiked me up the ass, then I would be very, very sad face, and you would not want to hear it. Oh, trust me, you do not want to see me mad. Trust me, you do not. Especially when getting frustrated, and I get frustrated very easy. Which is the main reason why I never really played Mega Man. Well, I've only played two. And I've just been... Recently I've been playing two on Emitter and just been blowing, nuking things with... Metal Blade. But really, I'm not a big fan of Mega Man. Oh yes, and I should have mentioned, I finally found my N64 and finally got around to playing Goldeneye. And it is awesome as people say. Really is. Awesome. Although to be fair, my complaint is that, it's not, I'm not sure if it's, no, why am I saying it's not sure? It's not really NC, the con, it's not really the game's fault, it's the consoles. But the controls feel really awkward, although that's after the problem with the N64. The control stick was the controls were very how the hell did that happen? Okay. That's the problem in the N64 so that the controller was a bit weird. Like three pronged thing with the control stick in the middle. It was quite uncomfortable actually, to be fair. And this boss is incredibly annoying. Expect to spend a long time on this boss. Because trust me, it's not fun. Fur. This is what I mean by pis pinball physics. This is another thing why I don't like Sonic CD. As I said before, pinball physics. This is where they really shine. In air quotes, by the way. As the physics are completely insanely stupid. I want the extra life. Damn it. Extra life. Fuck. And yes, there's an extra life in the boss battlefield. The hell? If you activate certain lights, you get a, a saver up here. On the bottom of the, there. Let's be fair, there's not really much. The only reason it's there is just to save you from going all the way over there, but then it runs out. So there's not really much point. Ugh. Bloody hell. Another thing about this game, it's not really a huge complaint, but some of the music takes a really long time to actually reload. Special Age music is gu really guilty of this. 
Well, I'm at the top, so fuck the extra life. Bollax! Damn Eggman and his inhuman timing. Fuck! No! Why are you taunting me, game? Stop this! Yes! Sorry, the extra life. Die! Go away, you fat ginger git. <gasps> I hate that level so much. I hate that boss so much. I hate that boss so much. It is so annoying. Not as bad as Stardust Speedways. But Stardust Speedways is easy once you know what the hell you're doing. But anyway, Tyler Tempest. But I think I'm going to end this off here. So then, see you next time for more Sonic CD.